I've been practicing yoga for over 20 years. I started when I was a athlete at UCLA. I was 18. I started with power yoga and then fell into Kundalini and then forever inspired by Vinyasa flow. I have been influenced by some of the greatest coaches and teachers and mentors that I could ever imagine. They have helped shape who I am and I am forever grateful for my teachers and my teachers' teachers and yet also forever grateful to my students who are some of my greatest teachers. I began with Brian Kest and then Gurmook was a huge influence in my life, a shift taking away the competition and really shifting to go inside and reminding me that it's up to me to be a servant and to share and to offer and to guide. Shiva Ray has inspired me a lot as her expression to move her creativity. Yoga has influenced me in ways that have helped allow me to sink deep within, take the competition out of me, instead of competing with the world or with others or comparing myself to others to really look within and find out who I am and allow me the opportunity to understand myself to, in a deeper way so I can have my own self-healing. Understanding that taking care of myself allows me to help take care of others. I know it's kind of cheesy, but one of my favorite asanas is Sunny A, uh, Namaskar A, Sun Salutation. It's just classic, and it works, and it's beautiful, and it flows, and it means so much to me. It's one of the first things that I ever learned, and forever I continue to do it and be inspired and learn so much. It really taught me so much about how repetition is key how doing things over and over and over can be so amazing to see my own process and my own progress and how as I grow, I just see it in new ways and in deeper ways. My favorite posture is a forward fold. I love the inversion of letting the head hang below the heart. I love the benefits that it can you know, help produce and I love the calming of the mind. I love how it really awakens me and helps relieve stress and relieve swelling and pain. It's so simple. You're simply just looking at the toes. You're simply reaching down for the toes. And yet, this simple posture is so incredibly powerful. I love that about yoga. How just moving the body in some simple ways can really have powerful effects. My goal for my future practice is to be truly honest with my practice and understand that those postures that I'm not the biggest fan of are the ones that I truly need the most work of. I also hope within my practice to help balance out my strength and flexibility as I know that I'm stronger on certain sides and more flexible on certain sides and this can cause imbalances and pain and cause me to be less efficient. What I would say to my beginner self is to trust in the process, not to rush and be okay with where I'm at. Where I'm at is the truth. Where I'm at is where I need to be. And it's okay not to be perfect. It's okay not to know everything. It's okay to be where I'm at. It's okay to be the student. Don't rush, take time, enjoy the practice.